Hey guys. Okay, so I want to use this week's video to give you a bit of a pre-designed tip, let's just say. So you will always hear me harping on about street trees. You know, the trees that are positioned between the curb and the property boundary. The ones that are owned by council and therefore the ones that are protected. The ones that you need to consider when you're locating any new driveways. But what I probably don't talk about enough is power poles. Now, this came up as an issue for me on a pre-lodgement meeting last week. See, I've always known that it can take maybe 20 grand to relocate a power pole. So if you're planning to put a driveway in and you need to clash with that pole, you need to be prepared to spend $20,000 to relocate it out of the way, which is a lot of money. Well, at least I thought it was a lot of money until this pre-lodgement meeting. The power pole that came up in this situation, they've estimated is going to cost up to $100,000 to relocate. It is incredible. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Admittedly, this power pole has a lot going on. I mean, it's got two different sets of power lines running into it. It's got a transformer on it. It's got a street light on it. So yeah, there's a fair bit going on there. But still, $100,000 to shift this pole just a couple of meters doesn't really add value to the project, does it? So yes, it sort of hit me last week and I went, oh, I need to put a reminder out there. I need to use this week's video to spread the awareness. Watch out for those power poles. They are dangerous. You need to always make sure you've got at least one meter clearance between the pole and the driveway to be safe because otherwise you're up for a fortune. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now do that. So that covers off everything that I want to talk about today. As I always say, until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all. Bye!